Today we're taking a look at the BioLite Base Charge 600, one of the latest and greatest products from the brand, makers of innovative fire pits, camp stoves, lights, and batteries. We've always been fans. But a bit about BioLite. The common thread throughout their gear is their unique use of battery technology. For instance, their Camp Stove 2 Plus and Fire Pit Plus can actually generate electricity from whatever you're burning. This energy powers internal combustion fans, which help the fire burn hot, but can also be used to charge USB devices like your phone. And if you want to see our review of either of those products, I'll drop a link in the description. All that to say, BioLite knows their way around a battery, and it was only a matter of time before they went from making small battery banks to full-size power stations, which is where the Base Charge 600 comes in. As the name implies, it is a 600 watt hour battery, 622 to be precise. Practically speaking, you could power an electric cooler for up to 15 hours, charge your laptop up to nine times, your smartphone 48 times, or I guess if you really wanted to, a 55 inch TV for six hours. You charge the battery using the included AC adapter, which can take you from zero to 100% in seven hours. But it also has this really cool feature where you can simultaneously charge it through the 100 watt USB-C PD port, which cuts the charging time in half to three and a half hours. On top of that, you can also use BioLite's Solar Panel 100 to charge the battery, which with peak input, meaning continuous direct sunlight, you can charge the battery in as little as six hours. Not too shabby. On the front of the battery, you have three AC plugs, DC power options, including two barrel connectors, your standard USB-A and USB-C ports, and a 100 watt USB-C PD port for fast charging compatible devices. On top, we have a nice, what I'm gonna call a bonus feature, wireless charging. So for us, we camp a lot, we have a lot of small devices and batteries to charge, and we like to plug in fairy lights at night. With the wireless charging dock, I don't have to use up one of my ports for my phone. I can just drop it on top and not have to worry about it. Plus, that's one less cable I have to deal with. All of this with some nice built-in handles for lugging the thing around. Because, uh, well, it's, it's not super light. So what all can this be used for? Well, just about anything you need to power or charge short of high draw power tools and equipment. You can power your electric cooler or fridge like we've done with our Dometic, charge electronics, medical equipment, TVs, microwaves. I've even heard of people using this to power small space heaters or even their Wi-Fi routers so they can still connect to the internet if the power goes out. So this thing is amazing to have in case of an emergency at home, but you can also take it with you to the campsite and power everything from lights to an electric kettle for making camp cappuccinos. Link in the description. Now let's compare the base charge to the Goal Zero Yeti. But before we do, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Now having come from using Goal Zero products like the Yeti 500X, I was impressed with the capabilities of the base charge for the price. At the time of release, the Yeti 500X was the same $699 as the base charge. But shortly after, Goal Zero quietly dropped the price to $549. I'm assuming that was to stay competitive since the base charge offered quite a bit more bang for the buck. We're talking about larger capacity, higher wattage output, a better safety system to protect sensitive electronics, and that wireless charging capability. And while the 12 checkpoint safety system is important, one of the things that stood out to us was the peak wattage. This is especially important when you're off grid or lose power in your home and you want to use this as a backup. For instance, the Yeti wasn't able to handle an electric kettle. When we turned the kettle on and the wattage spiked, it shut itself off. But the base charge handled it without any issues. All that to say, if you're in the market for an electric power station, whether it's for overlanding, camping, or just for emergencies, BioLite seems to be ahead of the pack when you consider features, build quality, and capacity for the price versus similar offerings from brands like Jackery, Anchor, and of course, Goal Zero. So if you want to check out the BioLite Base Charge 600, we'll throw a link in the description below. Be sure to check us out elsewhere online, on social, and on terradrift.com. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Now get out there, stay powered up, and wander on.